the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, once acknowledged that the first-generation party leader Mao Zedong brought great disaster to China. However, on the 130th anniversary of Mao's birth, Beijing commemorated him with great fanfare, and the seven members of the standing committee visited Mao's memorial hall to pay tribute. While the public followed suit in celebration, experts are urging people to read the nine commentaries to understand the true Mao Zedong. On the morning of December 26, the seven members of the standing committee and high-ranking officials in Beijing went to Mao Zedong's memorial hall for worship, followed by a commemorative symposium. CCP official media also published numerous articles commemorating Mao. In the private sector, many people flocked to Mao Zedong's hometown in Shaoshan, Hunan, to celebrate enthusiastically. The sudden high-profile commemoration of Mao by the CCP has attracted public attention. Exiled writer Yu Luowen in the United States commented, The reason they are now commemorating Mao Zedong so prominently is because China's economic situation is not good and the grievances of the common people are very high. China's political situation is chaotic. Analysis suggests that those currently holding power in the CCP grew up during the Cultural Revolution and are applying the methods of that era to control society. Political commentator Lan Xu in the U.S. stated, During Mao's era, people couldn't even have enough to eat. Buying clothes and meat required ration tickets and cloth coupons. Much worse than now. The reason these people want to return to Mao's era is that China's reform and opening up, which reached its peak during Hu Jintao's era, has reached its limit. Private capital from China and investments from the West have formed a huge private capital, challenging the CCP's centralized leadership. Lan Xu mentioned that the CCP now wants to reduce the current market economy in China to a level that poses no threat to the CCP, former mainland Chinese lawyer Liang Xiaohua said. In the past, especially during Deng Xiaoping's era, insisting on the so-called reform was a denial of Mao's related policies, including Mao's series of leftist policies, the Great Leap Forward, and a series of so-called cultural revolution policies. All these policies completely rejected Mao. Liang Xiaohua stated that the current CCP leader proposes not to mutually deny the 30 years before and after he came to power. This essentially reverses Deng Xiaoping's formulation at the third plenum of the 11th Central Committee to correct the cultural revolution and leftist errors, Yang Xiaohua emphasized. Essentially, he likes the Mao era. He has always longed for the time when the power of the Communist Party was unlimited and there was no capitalism, no free economy, and no different voices. Just like North Korea, many officials, including some people in the private sector, who grew up during the Cultural Revolution, have not completely cleared the ideological remnants, including many young people, with the existence of the Great Firewall and the CCP's brainwashing education. Part of the society still worships and trusts Mao. Liang Xiaohua urged everyone to read Nine Commentaries on the Communist Party and Yang Jishin's work Tombstone, The Great Famine of the 1960s in China to understand the true history of the CCP. Nine Commentaries on the Communist Party records that after the CCP seized power in 1949, Mao's successive political movements led to the death of about 60 to 80 million Chinese. During Mao's 10-year Cultural Revolution, county records in China documented that at least 7.73 million people died. Former CCP General Secretary Hu Yaobang once told reporters, about 100 million people were implicated at that time. Former Xinhua News Agency senior reporter Yang Jixin recorded in Tombstone that Mao's creation of the Great Famine resulted in the death of 36 million Chinese. Yu Luowen believes that although many people are brainwashed, and follow the trend to worship Mao, they are not blind. Yu Luowen said. Think about it, especially the farmers at that time. So many people starved to death, and every family had their own relatives or relatives who starved to death. Can they forget this hatred? They can't. But for the sake of immediate interests, they speak well of Mao Zedong. 
but once the atmosphere changes, they are even more eager to criticize Mao Zedong than we are. Analysis suggests that the CCP, in its more than 70 years of rule, has accumulated a heavy debt of blood, and the people are waiting for settlement, Yu Luoan stated. Whoever takes the leadership position will be held accountable by the people in the future. The people will blame all the mess on the last leader. Like now, he inherits Mao Zedong's approach and the sins and debts of Mao Zedong in the past. Many people are waiting for someone to settle them, and he becomes a scapegoat. It is noteworthy that on the day of Mao's commemoration, CCTV reported on Mao's commemorative stamps, followed by a news report on making wax meat, as wax meat is a euphemism for Mao on the internet. The CCTV report was criticized for being satirical. Thank you